The Cleveland Torso Murderer, Unmasking the Dark Enigma of the 1930s. In the midst of the Great Depression, a reign of terror gripped the city of Cleveland, Ohio. From 1935 to 1938, a sinister and elusive figure known as the Cleveland Torso Murderer struck fear into the hearts of its residents. This notorious serial killer left a trail of dismembered bodies in his wake, sending shockwaves through the community and captivating the nation. To this day, the identity of the Cleveland Torso Murderer remains one of America's most chilling unsolved mysteries. The haunting story began on September 23, 1935, when two teenage boys stumbled upon the decapitated body of a man while exploring a remote area near Kingsbury Run, a poverty-stricken region of Cleveland. The authorities initially brushed off the discovery, attributing it to a vagrant's death. However, as more dismembered bodies emerged over the next few years, the city became engulfed in panic. The victims were primarily drifters, prostitutes, and other marginalized individuals struggling to survive in the Depression-era Cleveland. The murderer showed great skill in dismembering his victims, leaving behind only torsos, often devoid of any identification. Their heads were rarely found, and the killer appeared to be meticulous in his efforts to conceal the victims' identities and to hinder the investigation. The Cleveland torso murderer struck a chord of fear and vulnerability within the city's residents. The public, already suffering from economic hardships, now lived in constant dread, wondering if they or their loved ones would be the next victim. The police and the city administration faced mounting pressure to apprehend the perpetrator and put an end to the nightmare. One of the key figures in the investigation was Elliot Ness, who had earned fame for his efforts in bringing down the notorious gangster Al Capone. Appointed as Cleveland's safety director, Ness spearheaded the task force assigned to capture the torso murderer. Despite their best efforts, the killer eluded capture, leaving behind little evidence and few witnesses. The torso murders profoundly impacted the city of Cleveland. Fear and suspicion permeated the community leading to increased prejudice against marginalized groups, particularly the homeless and the sex workers who were often targeted by the killer. Many residents took extreme measures to protect themselves, including avoiding certain areas of the city and reinforcing their homes with extra security measures. As the body count continued to rise, the media fervor surrounding the case grew exponentially. Newspaper headlines and radio broadcasts disseminated the grisly details of the murders, captivating audiences across the nation. The torso murders were sensationalized, and theories and speculations ran rampant, ranging from the involvement of a cult to the killer being a medical professional due to the precise dismemberment methods used. Despite the efforts of Ness and his team, the torso murderer remained at large, leaving a trail of unsolved murders in his wake. The investigation encountered several dead ends, and potential suspects were often cleared due to lack of evidence. Ness left his position in Cleveland in 1942, and the case gradually faded from the public eye. To this day, the identity of the Cleveland Torso murderer remains unknown. The case has sparked numerous theories and speculation, with some suggesting that the killer died or was imprisoned for unrelated crimes. Others argue that the perpetrator was a transient individual who simply moved on to a different city. The truth, however, remains shrouded in mystery. The Cleveland Torso murderer cast a dark shadow over the city during the turbulent 1930s. The case not only terrified residents, but also captivated the nation, leaving an indelible mark on Cleveland's history. The legacy of these unsolved murders serves as a reminder of the vulnerability of marginalized communities and the enduring power of unsolved mysteries. As the years pass, the search for answers continues but the truth behind the Cleveland Torso murderer may forever remain buried in the depths of history.